You probably remember this viral video from last year. A little puppy named Gunner pulled from the jaws of a gator by his owner. The video shocked and captivated people all around the world. And tonight we check in on how these two are doing. Well, you know, we got so many responses from, from overseas uh, newscasters. I mean, we were, we were in Mexico, Australia, China, just, I mean, all over the world. The astonishing video shows Richard Wilbanks leaping into the water, prying open the jaws of a five-foot gator, freeing Gunner behind their home near Naples, Florida. Well, what has life been like since you became a viral internet sensation? It, it's been surprising. It really has. Uh, you know, I think everybody in the world has just wanted a, a feel-good story with a happy ending, and Gunnar and I are just glad we were able to provide that. Whether out for a walk or grabbing a bite to eat, the two of them are still treated like celebrities, almost a year after this video went viral. Everybody just comes up and gives me high fives, and a lot of the ladies want a hug, and uh, people want their picture made with me, and if Gunner's with us, with me and Gunner, and we're always just so happy to accommodate everybody. It's like you're kind of liking fame a little bit, huh? Well... We do. You know, I got so many thank you cards and, and Gunner and I got so many gifts, cigars for me and uh, toys for Gunner and for everyone that even sent a card. Children sent color, uh, pictures they colored of Gunner and <laughs> I sent thank you notes to every single person. Richard was given cigars because not only were people impressed with how he rescued Gunner, but they were also amazed that he did not lose his cigar even when he went underwater. How did you keep that cigar in your mouth the whole time? You know, I, I guess when I jumped in the water, I just I, I, I just clamped down on the cigar, and uh, I didn't even realize when I came up out from under the water, I still had a cigar in my mouth. And when I got gun around the alligator's mouth, and then got my hands out of the alligator's mouth. I finally, I, I spit it out and everybody was wanting to know about the cigar. And I went, found it two weeks later, it was on the bank. So uh, my wife did a needlepoint picture of Gunner and we put the cigar under it in a, a shadow box frame. Gunner had one puncture wound from the gator's tooth. He spent two days in the hospital, but he healed up fast and nearly a year later, He's just as happy as ever. Hey, I'm thankful every day for him. He is such a wonderful part of our family. You know, and he says he's glad the gator wasn't any bigger because he doesn't think he'd been able to get the jaws open. He said it was that hard. He had to pull That's with amazing. all his might. Yeah, after you rescue the dog, then you got to worry about yourself. Yeah, then he had to get his hands out of there. I mean, five foot's not a small, I mean, it no. is small-ish, but not a small gator. He said gator. he held it up and it went from his chin all the way down wow. and then he flung it over the that fence. That is a great story. Yeah. And they're both doing fine. They That's funny. They are as cute as ever.